Sufria MP resigns from Parliament and contracts signed for infrastructural development projects in the Roseau Valley. Thank you for joining us on another edition of National Focus. I'm Mervyn Matthew. And I'm Kadisha Senthui. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. A picture is worth a thousand words. Got it? Taking care of us can be so easy. Take good care of the children. Thank you for staying with us. Residents of the Sufre constituency will go to the polls within the next 90 days to elect a new parliamentary representative. Former Sufre MP Ian Pinard informed the constituents at the town hall meeting on Tuesday that he had resigned as parliamentary representative. I met earlier with Honorable Prime Minister and informed him of my decision to resign in the seat of parliament. <laughs> to resign my seat in the parliament as parliamentary representative for the Sufre constituency. I have written to Honorable Speaker of the House of Assembly earlier this evening, tendering my resignation as a Member of Parliament of Dominica. I want the best for Soufriere, Point Michel, Scott Fair and Galleon. I want the best for my people. I want the best for Dominica. That is why today I have stepped down as a Member of Parliament, for I believe strongly that the institution of Parliament should not be dragged into the happenings and atmosphere that will accompany events pertaining to my case over the coming weeks and months. Pina assured residents that he remains committed to assist with the development of the constituency. I shall forever remain in your debt and at your service. The Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt addressed constituents following the announcement by the former Sufre MP. I am saddened by his resignation, but I am touched by his honor. In his address, the Dominican leader voiced support for the former Sufria MP. And as leader of this party, I stand, I shall stand four square next to my comrade Ian Pina. We shall not turn our backs on him. We shall not throw him to the wolves or under any bus. His happiness is our happiness yes. and his grief is our grief yes. his pain is our pain yes. his struggle is our struggle yes. for we are one family in the dominica labor party the dlp leader also commented on plans for the by-election in the constituency we do not want this to be a long drawn out process we want normality to return to this constituency in short order. Accordingly, I will be meeting with Ian and the members of his constituency group later this week to commence the process of selecting a successor candidate and ready in this constituency for battle. Pinard, who was surrounded by very supportive members of cabinet and residents of the constituency following Tuesday's announcement, said he was proud of many developments which have taken place within the constituency. We have made a major dent in unemployment with the sourcing of many permanent jobs, start up of a significant number of entrepreneurial activities that has led to the creation of sustainable employment opportunities and over 100 attachment to the National Employment Program. Additionally, my presence in the Cabinet of Ministers enabled me to access tremendous benefits for constituents, such as farming equipment for livestock industry, personalized home care for the elderly, financial assistance for small businesses, upgrade and soon lighting of the Sufria playing fields, technical assistance and direct monetary support for fishermen, as well as free transportation for our school children from Point Michel, Sufria, Scott said, and Galeno to attend school. And of course, in many instances, free school books and uniform for our children. The government of Dominica has allocated over half a million dollars for ongoing work in the Rosa Valley constituency post-Tropical Storm Erica. Four contracts were signed, all by contractors living in the Roseau Valley area. The signing ceremony took place at the Ministry of Finance conference room on Tuesday. Parliamentary representative for the Roseau Valley constituency, Honorable Dr. Colin McIntyre, 
assure the residents of the Roseau Valley that the projects are just the beginning of big things to come. Honorable Dr. McIntyre gave details about the projects that will be undertaken in the community of Fokani. There's a road edge failure and reinstatement along the Fokani Road that has created some serious problems for us. And we'll be constructing a retaining wall there measuring 13 meters long by 3.5 meters high and of course the associated works with it. This contract is going to cost us, is awarded here today, is 78,588 and 13 cents. It, of course, and it may run a little over, but we're hoping that it can be done within that price. You know, if there's a little bit, we will deal with that. Mr. Curtis Luke has been um, selected to perform the duties and the construction of this, this, this um, retaining wall. The community of Loda has played an integral role in the tourism industry in Dominica. Hence, the reason why this community is benefiting greatly from the money being allocated for works in the Roseau Valley area. The second one, we look at the road edge rain statement along the Loda main road. That's close to the Trafalgar Loda intersection, higher up on the road there. Again, Mr. Curtis Luke was favorable there, costing 91000 and. $54.70. We gonna be constructing a retaining wall there measuring 15 meters long by 3.5 meters high, of course, with the associated works. We now go to Luda in the, the road edge rain statement along the T2 Gorge Road. And Mr. Harris Hodge of Luda, he will be building this one for us, costing $137,568.75. Of course, it's going to involve construction of a retaining wall measuring 25 meters long by 2.5 meters wide, of course, average height and other associated um, cost there, of course. The first one we'll sign today is Mr. Alvin Charles for $199,617. And that's construction of a retaining wall measuring 30 meters long by 4.0 high meters, sorry, and associated roadworks. The Honorable Minister for Public Works, Miriam Blanchard, revealed that these are not the only projects in the cards for the Roseau Valley constituency. In addition to the contracts that will be signed shortly, there are a number of other interventions that are planned for the Roseau Valley area. Those include work on the Trafalgar Bridge, Coptal Bridge, the Papillot area to include the construction of retaining wall, also, the construction of drainage structures close to the, in Trafalgar near the church, as well as in the Cabanis area. And those, the ministry intends to work very feverishly to come to the end of the design phase on those projects. Once those have been prepared and are out to tender, we shall again um, inform the public. Priority intervention works will soon begin in over nine communities in the Rosa South and Southeast constituencies. The contracts signed by the Ministry of Public Works and Ports and 14 contractors took place at the Financial Center Conference Room on Wednesday. The sum of the contracts worth over $4 million is part of efforts to ensure safety of Dominica's road infrastructure. Acting Prime Minister Honorable Reboon Blackmore encouraged contractors to exercise diligence while executing the projects. As we seek to build back our roads better, we therefore has, have a responsibility as a government to ensure that in that effort, that all and sundry can enjoy a piece of the national cake. Everyone who will be signing a contract today is either from the Castle Comfort area, with Girodel, with Kings Hill, and in the Granby area, and then you have Vidal from Pity Southern area, where you no longer have Pity Southern as a formal community now, but that's where he's from. Well, he's from Collier, but resident for a long time, for obvious reasons, in that part of the country. So it's a situation whereby that all of us can benefit from the rebuilding effort. The Honorable Minister for Public Works and Ports, Senator Miriam Blanchard, emphasized that restoration will be the focus of the government of Dominica following the devastation of Tropical Storm Erica. I wish to say here that while these contracts have been awarded for only some geographic areas, it does not mean that there are no projects planned for other areas. 
In fact, we have a number of other contracts that have been tendered that we expect to sign in the next coming days or weeks. In addition, we hope to do a comprehensive road rehabilitation program, particularly in the city of Roseau and its environs, as well as in other parts of the island soon. The biggest contract has been assigned for works in the Geneva Grand Bay area. The Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Grand Bay constituency, Justina Charles, regarded this as a huge opportunity to employ young people. I am elated that at least somebody from the South, from my constituency, has been selected. And it means, therefore, he has placed himself in a position where he can be, he can, he can, he can be qualified as a contractor. I want to use this opportunity also to call on our many small contractors to position themselves so that when those opportunity arises that they can capitalize and make, take advantage of it. And it's an opportunity for them to grow into bigger contractors and can undertake larger, larger projects. And it's also an opportunity to make sure that we can employ quite a few of our young people. A parliamentary representative for the Pitt Savan constituency expressed relief for the major intervention that will be undertaken in his district. Over the past few weeks, we would have had some small agitation and concerns by the, by the members of, of, of these communities. We would have seen um, some work started already um, in the Fosager area, that's the Fosager end of the Bagatelle River, where we would have some concerns as to the crossing, especially um, each and the rain, things shall be crossed America, we would have had heavy siltation, etc. And as we speak, work would be ongoing and probably nearing completion that would, that would make life easier for the people of the Fosager area. Um, we have also seen several, I think, for some in the region of three to $400,000 being spent already on the Pichle River dredging. So whatever additional works is going to be done here, some in the region of another, maybe over half a million dollars, I think is, is, is welcome work. We will have more from Wednesday's contracts signing in a subsequent newscast. A promise made by the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, to advance the music industry is already being realized by the Association of Music Professional AMP of Dominica. In July 2015, the Honorable Prime Minister made that commitment while also announcing an allocation of $500,000 towards that industry. Earlier this month, Honorable Dr. Skerritt identified training as one of the key aspects of developing the industry, which has the ability to contribute to the national economy if done professionally. On Tuesday, a training workshop called The Craft of Songwriting began at the Dominica State College. This is being facilitated by Swedish national and renowned international songwriter Alina Gibson. The training will end on Friday. President of the Association of Music Professionals, AMP, is McCarthy Marie. From the point of view of Dominica moving forward in the music business, we at AMP thought that we should start at the beginning, to say the foundation. But in the music business, everybody knows that the foundation rests on the songwriter. And if we want to get involved in selling music to the region and beyond, the craft of songwriting is something we ought to learn to do. A workshop on record production and studio engineering will begin on May 15th at the Dominica State College. This training will be facilitated by recording engineer and record producer Stuart Young of Canada. The training programs will cost approximately $54,000. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. I had a bleeding disorder that I did not know about and they had to be transfusing me continuously. I got 56 units. Being there at the blood bank, I was like, yo, I'm actually saving someone's life. You never know when you can go. Give blood. I have done it, and believe it or not, it don't hurt. I won't be scared. I'll give. <laughs> you know you're going to give blood. I'll make sure she does. Sit down at the blood bank in a comfortable environment for 45 minutes. Helping people. You are stimulating your body to make brand new cells. You get free cookies, you get juice. Glad to know your blood group. Feels good. I felt as a better person. It's a good thing to be alive. And I can thank God that I'm there and I'm enjoying life. Welcome back. 
The construction of the new West Bridge on the Phase 1 of the Rose Enhancement Project will be financed not through the imposition of new taxes, but through the Citizenship by Investment Program. The Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt revealed this at the groundbreaking ceremony for the reconstruction of the bridge last Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot underestimate the significance of such an achievement. $18 million is a lot of money for a country like Dominica, particularly post-tropical storm Erica. A few weeks ago, I visited and addressed several new citizens of Dominica in Europe, Asia, and particularly Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. I impressed upon them the importance of their contributions to the development and modernization of our country. I am sure they will all be proud when news of this project to be financed 100% by proceeds from their contributions is circulated and made known. The Prime Minister said Dominica has so far benefited significantly from the program. Honorable Scarrett recently visited the United Arab Emirates, Dubai and Asia, where he met with some of Dominica's new citizens. The Honorable Prime Minister said they are proud of the new Dominican citizenship and eager to contribute to Dominica's economic development. The Dominica leader indicated that a few are currently planning their visit to the island. Indeed. Some of our agents abroad are in the process of assembling, assembling a group of professionals who are also new citizens to visit Dominica to identify and appreciate areas of need where they can assist and learn of their many years of collective training and experience. They will be coming to Dominica at their own expense for a few days to determine how, as doctors, engineers, architects, scientists, educators, horticulturists, and environmentalists, they can help in fast forwarding the development of our country. The Honorable Prime Minister has recurrently assured the nation that its citizenship by investment program is an effective and well-managed means of revenue generation. And that's the English segment of the news. McPherson St. Louis is up next with Creole Highlights. Hello, good moon. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non moins, c'est McPherson St. Louis. Premièrement, ministre Commodity en collaboration et puis Carrefour Forum tient un seminaire qui mettait attention à ces lois qui gouvernent les compétitions et puis policy. Seminaire, yon jour cela, qui tient un hôtel Garaway en Ozeau. Mais nous plusieurs stakeholders ensemble pour sensibiliser yo qu'à concerner loi sala. Participants aussi voué dans l'âge adam en manière Dominique implémenter loi sala sur le changement et puis car forme. Mais c'est Marfan Walt, c'est directeur commodité Dominique. Jeudi là, ça nous est c'est un workshop um, um, pour pour uh, loi et ben policy competition. Vous savez, nous qui travaillons avec la consumer protection, ça c'est un élément, un cost ça là. Je veux dire, nous voulons savoir que si une compagnie qui a fait business dans un pays là, vous avez fait business qui est équitable et un business qui est fair. Um, si si yo si yo si une yo company qui ni plus dominance plus plus power qui uh, l'autre company là ça il que faire c'est ou qu'une company qui pas efficient company qui quoi il pas ni pour faire rien parce que il est tout market share là mais si vous mettez loi et ben loi ça là ça 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 fait ça fait um, certain qui toute company qui ni une chance um, pour faire business avec pour survive fairly Equitably and a pay la, ça c'est un bon manœuvre. Si l'homme c'est Walter, Dominique c'est un changement et puis car reform et EPA qui gouverne ça. Nous aussi au Treaty Caricom et aussi nous nous aussi Economic Partnership Agreement là. Parce qu'il y a une provision dans ce traité là pour nous faire manœuvre, pour mettre la loi et les policiers ensemble, pour pour protect consumer, pour protect les gens qui ont gagné les choses. Um, 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 or um, 
force of dominance company qui a vendu ces bagages là pour pour yo c'est pour c'est so c'est ça um, um, facilité à la nouni or the caricom um, competition commission vient à payer ça là pour pour parler pour mon avec pour sensitize mon court alors nouvelle organisation d'alcool de traitement pour résidents Silver Lake en Zafé capacité Berlin un workshop de chain où la résidente tape traitement quatre jours Chairman pour Dalka Yolan John Jules, parle de la bagaille qui couvait pendant le traitement de la salle. Nous faisons un Silver Leaf. C'est un petit projet que nous appelons un peu d'assistance pour le Canada et le High Commission Canada et le Trinidad et Tobago. Et le projet est pour faire un. Le projet là, c'est pour faire un dalle, avant d'armer un petit wall, pour protéger le bordage live là, parce que vous savez ça, Eric a fait, et le bordage live là, comme il l'avait sorti. Et pour ranger un petit place pour ça, il y a un public convenience. Nous ranger ça, il y a un petit peu de et nous ne pas en égouté là. Mais nous venons pour faire aussi training pour montrer yo. comment pour manipuler ça yoni, comment pour manipuler en temps les cyclones, en temps les trois cas, um, comment pour comment pour manipuler um, zodizio, comment yo ka jeter, comment yo ka faire ever. Autant d'autres bitin nous montrer yo ici en quatre jours. Président apprend manière pour manager bagay en communauté ailleurs. Nous tenons M. Steve Joseph, M. Glenn Roy Toussaint, M. Café Toussaint, M. Mark Fosson, qui parlent de ce qui est topic. Il y a des choses qui pour manager. Manager les gens, manager les autres, manager les gens, manager les gens, manager les gens, pour faire, ça pour pas faire. Comme ça, ça c'est ça, nous devons faire avec yo ce jour-là. Parce que vous savez, s'il va avec son côté, il va mettre le bordage là, il va bien aisé pour toi, Kabouyo. Comme ça, on ne peut pas cacher le compte au site. Et ça, nous avons fait, nous avons deal avec vulnerable communities. Comme ça, nous voyons là encore une communauté qui est bien vulnerable. C'est pour ça que nous venons et nous taper assistance là pour dire. Comme ça, nous avons dit encore merci pour ODM, et merci pour Dalka, et merci pour Canada pour travailler ça, ça qui fait ce site là. On a nouvel projet ou l'occasion pour les résidents de Bête Kamaché. Par le salle, la sortie de mon parlement, honorable docteur Kenneth Darrow. Le resettlement de Bête Kamaché a bien. Nous avons déjà eu un qui est là à différents stages en complétion. Et nous avons espéré que nous avons dit que peut-être un premier vent, c'est. Mais ce cas là, c'est que ça n'a pas été fait. Mais nous sommes nous, 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 nous confiants et optimistes qu'il y a des de trois semaines que nous avons commencé à tirer le monde hors de la communauté de Shelter. Nous avons commencé à mettre ces familles dans ce cas là. Et bien, nous avons bien plaît. C'est un relief pour moi. Et nous savons que um, ça, c'est peut-être, mais pas même half, et pas même half ou la donne, parce que nous n'avons pas aussi actuellement gardé le des affaires à petit savane. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous faire un croyant pour à présent. Non, moi, c'est Marc Fouesson saint -Louis. Au revoir. Now for a few announcements. The Cultural Division and the National Cultural Council present Dumfesta 2016 from April 29 to June 4. Celebrating the Dream, a dance concert by the Whitey Kuboli Dance Company, is on at the Arak House of Culture from the April 29 to 30th from 8 p.m. Join the International Jazz Day Music Session at the Rosa Public Library on April 30th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. On May 4, it's the opening of the Domfesta Art Exhibition with live music starting from 7 p.m. at the Old Mill Cultural Center. Then on the weekend of May 6, 7 and 8, the New Dimension Theatre presents a play, Not Until, at the Arak House of Culture from 8 p.m. Watch out for more Domfesta events in further announcements. And residents of Penville and Vekas are asked to note that the National Pest and the Termite Company will be fogging your areas in the early mornings or evening 
on Thursday, April 28th. Please leave doors and windows open. Your tip of the day is next. Everyone wants to be fit, healthy and live a long, active life. But many of us don't know how really simple that is. The secret to living healthy is making small changes. Drink a glass of water in the morning, eat breakfast as breakfast eaters are less likely to be obese and get diabetes, and cut down on harmful processed foods. Go for natural foods as much as possible to live a long and healthy life. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash GIS News Dominica and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is also now available 24 hours a day. From all of us here on the GIS News Production team, I'm Kadisha St. Louis. And I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thanks for watching and join us again next time for National Focus. Mm -hmm.